My sister is shaking her head. She says I shouldn't vlog. Do you want to be in it? She said no. Anyways, I just ironed this and I realized it was way too thin and see-through, so. I had to pause my quilt making to clean my room because we don't have a big enough table to like do all this stuff on. So I used the floor and there's shit everywhere and I was cleaning out, I found graph paper. I've been looking for this all morning. I ended up using something else, but I'm mad. While cleaning up, I found this plan I made for a cross stitch for something I gave Victoria. It's eat ass and it's like this little acrostic poem and it just made me laugh because this was like, I made this probably years ago. Can you believe I've never seen this flavor in store before? And then Claire mentioned it and then now it's in my local grocery store. Her influence never stops. Because I even keep going with this quilt like vlog because now I just want to talk about potato chips. Mm. Okay, I wanted to show you guys the fabric that I got today. I'm using leftovers from the, my last quilt but I picked up some new ones because just the way the pattern is. So I got this blue one so I can make blue chickens. Shout out to Shane from Stardew Valley. Even though he's not real. <sighs> Tragedy. And then I got this one. It might be hard to pick up but it's like, I don't think that'll help, but it's beige with little white uh, flower detailing on it. It's really nice. I like the fabrics where they're printed, but they're subtle enough that you can like, like it does the work of a solid and a pattern fabric all in one. And then I just picked this plain kind of off-white for the border around the chicken. Let me show you. So I have my pattern here. I put the link in the description, but you see these parts I didn't color, that's what the white fabric's gonna be. This is gonna be variable, so it's gonna be brown, blue, whatever, the beak's the same color, crowns will be mostly the same color. Oh, let me show you fabric, I already cut out some for the crowns. So what I'm gonna do is cut out the crown shape, well, it's actually two. What you do, you put the right sides of the fabrics together, then you, you know, draw your crown design, then you sew it, then you cut off the excess, flip it inside out, and then you flatten it and you'll see it'll be real cute yep yeah anyways back to the quilt I graphed out this all the like parts I need for like the body background like beak and comb um, I'll put a link in the description of where I got this from I just wanted to like copy it and like take my quilt notes yeah I'm gonna post it on YouTube Melody wow what's your channel so I can report you <laughs> put the link in the description I just like to take good notes and see what I'm doing anyways my sisters bullying me so bye it's Scorpio season and both me and my sister are Scorpio so it's it's been tense Melody has it been tense between us since Scorpio season started? What the fuck is that See? Just proves its own point. Another thing I like to do besides my notes, I like to make uh, little cutouts of the shapes I'm going to be cutting with cardstock because it's much uh, stronger than paper. And it's nice to visualize, like, for example, I still need to pre-wash these. That's why it's a prep day. Like, a lot of prep. Yeah, so like, say you have a fabric like this, and it's like, oh, you know, what's the highest yield if I cut it like this, and then see, I can't go here, but if I go like this, I get, you know, like, that's just how I like to visualize it. If you have good imagination, you can, you can finesse it, but I, I can't, so. Another tip, do not watch this if you're, like, trying to learn how to quilt. This is just for funsies. It is a little past 11 right now. I, f I did it. I made 
one chicken this whole day for one chicken I mean I took breaks and I wasn't really that adamant but I was just like because usually the way I like to plan things I like to do all the cutting then sew all the components then sew all the rows together but I was just so excited to see this little guy this is the first chicken the comb was the hardest part 